Hello everyone, this is our final project for the machine learning class Spring 2019. Our project is about a latex converter for handwritten mathematical equations. Our motivation comes from the fact that typing mathematical equations is much more difficult and slower than typing characters and digits. So people tend to write mathematical equations by hand. But when writing a problem set or research paper, people have to convert their handwritten draft into digital format. The most popular tool for high-quality typesetting is latex, but it's very time-consuming. So if we want to convert Professor Keith Ross' lecture notes into digital format, we first have to type it all in latex code, then compile it into PDF. However, coding latex is tedious. So can we just omit this part and use machine learning to directly convert handwritten expression into digital format? So our motivation is to reduce the time and technical skills needed to convert mathematical equations into a digital format. Our goal is to develop a program that processes images of handwritten mathematical equations and outputs the corresponding latex command. We first do a multi-class classification task, train a convolutional neural network to recognize each symbol in handwritten mathematical equations. And then we do our object detection, locate the symbols in the equation and predict their corresponding class and arrange their predictions into latex using the coordinates of the symbols. We use handwritten mass symbols dataset from Kaggle. The original dataset consists of over 100,000 grayscale images of 45 by 45 pixels with 82 classes of mass symbols. However, it came to our attention that the dataset contains identical images, so we first wrote a code to unique it. And we are left with 83,501 images. And the data distribution between classes is shown by this plot. For the data pre-processing, we relabeled or deleted the images that do not match its label. And we deleted the images that are illegible or incomplete. Another issue is the variability in handwritten styles. Writing one as a vertical line confuses with given that in conditional probability. So to avoid confusions, we deleted all the problematic images. After all this process, we are left with about 66,000 images with 70 classes. But we can see from the distribution plot that it's unbalanced between classes. So we decided to apply data augmentation. We do three operations on several classes of symbols. Horizontal flip, vertical flip, and a combination of both. After the data augmentation, the total number of data is increased to over 77,000 images. We transferred ResNet of 34 layers. ResNet achieves a better accuracy on the task of image classification than many other networks and it used residual blocks to connect convolutional layers. We downloaded ResNet 34 with pre-trained weights from Torch Vision models. We freeze the weights of the first 32 layers and swapped its last two layers with convolutional layer, then followed by two fully connected layers. We also applied dropout on these three layers. Using stratified shuffle split method from sklearn, we split all data into training, validation, and test set while preserving the distribution over classes. We do normalization of dividing by 255 and the 1e-10 to avoid zero division. And since ResNet takes input of three channels, but our grayscale data is of one channel, we stack our data three times to match the ResNet input. Then we set up hyperparameters for the training. We use mini-batch gradient descent with ResSite 256 with PyTorch SGD optimizer with momentum of 0.9, weighted decay of 1e-4, and Nierstroff method. We use cross-entropy loss function. The Nierstroff momentum update is an accelerated version of the classical momentum method. It is basically first taking a momentum step, then making a correction by measuring the gradient. When the learning rate is relatively large, Nierstroff allows larger decay rate than momentum method while preventing oscillations. We trained for 35 iterations and used adaptive learning rate. 
The learning rate starts from 0.01 and is divided by 10 when the accuracy fluctuates. We achieved 97.5% training accuracy, 90.4% validation accuracy, and 89.9% accuracy on the test set. Some common errors are as A predicted as 0 9 times, 5 predicted as S 8 times, etc. We measured precision and recall for each class in a test set. For most classes, we are having a relatively high precision of over 60%. But for the class lambda with the least data, we are having zero recall. And because there are only two lambdas in the test set, there happens to be no precision for this class. And some other classes with little training data have similar problem. We tried oversampling to fix this issue, but it gives even worse results with lower precision. The reason might be overfitting on majority classes due to oversampling. We use the model trained without oversampling and do object detection on the whole equation. We focus on the case of cross-entropy loss function. First, we locate the characters by the finding contours method in OpenCV. Initially, the method will give a lot of actual boxes that do not contain a complete character. So we write an algorithm to ignore these boxes. Then we pad each character into a square image and resize it to 45 by 45. For the small characters, a common issue is the stroke width being too wide after resizing. So we do thinning by changing gray pixels between 64 and 254 into 255, which is a wide pixel. Note that 64 here is a threshold that can be tuned to fit the case. Then we feed the pictures into a neural network and output the predictions and its probability. And for the purpose of converting into latex, we also record the coordinates of the boxes. We manually check the predictions, and we highlight a box with correct prediction in green and those with wrong prediction in red. We use the same algorithm on the equations collected from different people. And here are the results. The average accuracy in this case is about 77.3% on 10 examples. In the future, we will test our model on more equations. We have already tried the sigmoid function, and our model also gives a good result. But the generalization for more kinds of equations is yet to be improved. Also, there is a common issue of detached detection. That is, one character may be detected separately in several boxes. The forward slash on the left is an example. We have to improve our character locating algorithm to solve it. Lastly, we want to fix the problem of low prediction accuracy on classes with little data. Since oversampling doesn't work, we could try more advanced algorithms such as cluster centroid and smote. We could also collect more data by ourselves. Since our ultimate goal is to convert handwritten mathematical equations into digital format, we could also collect data of equations in different layouts. Thank, Thank you, you for watching our video. video. Goodbye. And goodbye, goodbye latex. latex.